Look, I went to Twitter last week and I uh, asked them a question. I said, what is your most unpopular video game opinion? That's what I asked. I was like, you know what? Let, let me see what I can get. Maybe I'll get like 40, 50 responses. No, I got something like 3,900 responses. Sick, real sick. I really appreciate that. That is just awesome, all right? I love that outpouring of, of thought and emotion around, around video games. It's amazing. But I do have to say that you guys have some shit opinions. You know, and so, some of my friends have some shit opinions too. Isn't that kind of weird? It's kind of weird. These guys are my friends. These are people who I've been like, you know what? I would, I'd roll with this guy. But they say things sometimes. I'm just like, what the f is wrong with their brain? What's wrong with their brain, huh? And I want to tell you something though. There are some over here that I actually kind of agree with, but that's because I don't think they're unpopular opinions. I think they're unspoken of opinions. It's opinions that you kind of have and you know, you're thinking in the back of your head, but you don't bring it up because it's like, whatever, who cares? It's everybody knows already. You know, that's, that's the kind of opinion it is. And to give you an example, we got Chris Reagan's tweet over here. He says, Nintendo gets a pass for doing stupid shit all the time just because they're the oldest and have people in a nostalgic headlock and Microsoft gets shit on even when they do great and, uh, and pro-consumer things purely because they're the youngest and have the least nostalgic capital. Chris has just pointed out to the internet that he's a, he's a Microsoft fanboy. There you go, Sony fanboys and all you guys that are looking for a fight. Now you got your fight. It's, 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 it's with Chris right now. We got Milk Boy is dead here, giving Chris a piece of his mind. He says, nah, they on more than one occasion have halted or delayed big AAA games because it wasn't good enough or greyly done yet. Greyly? What the f***? Greatly done. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what he meant. Literally the last company that also just give us completed games when they release, they f***ing care. I'm certain that they care about their first party titles. In fact, no one is doubting that they do, but I think that they really kind of dropped the ball the last couple of generations with uh, the Wii and the Wii U. Uh, it's, it was, it was kind of rough to see what they were kind of doing. I know they were trying to cater to a more mainstream market and they probably succeeded in that. In fact, they actually did succeed in that. But damn, dude, uh, nah, nah. <laughs> Those consoles were garbage. What the f is this guy saying? Mr. Snakes. They get a pass because they aren't conforming to the financial trends of video games like microtransactions and DRM or loot boxes. And who gives them a free pass? Anyway, people are still pissed off because of the online service. Don't become Bunty, please. What does that mean? Don't become Bunty. What does that mean? Please tell me. I want to know. What opinion of me do you have in your mind that gets you to say that? I don't, I don't know how any of that shit that you just said has anything to do with me. You're dumb dumb. We got Magic Pentacorn over here spitting some truth. Uh, they say 10 out of 10 on Microsoft porting Xbox One exclusives to Windows, which is actually one of the best things that Microsoft's been doing this generation. They've been trying to really merge the console and PC market together, and I think it's really, really, really cool. Breath of the Wild has a great physics engine and good art direction, but everything surrounding it is kind of basic as f But then Leon follows up with, I almost replied with the whole Zelda franchise can get thrown out because but I didn't want to get burned at the stake. Well, it's a good thing you didn't say that. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's a good thing that you didn't actually say that. I'm glad that you put it in quotes there, bro. That means that you didn't say that. That means that it wasn't actually you saying or expressing your opinion. I think it's crazy, by the way, that you think that the whole Zelda franchise could get thrown out. I, it definitely, no, not at all. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I love this one right here. An upset Jesus, of course. That is definitely so that's definitely the reaction I had when I when I read that tweet. Mr. Glowworm says the entire Halo franchise is shit and boring. I don't give a f about the Halo story anywhere near as much as the average Halo fan, okay? But I respect Halo because Halo did something for consoles that that uh, that other shooters didn't. You know, they, it it really kind of set the standard. So that's why I don't really talk shit about Halo. So Mr. Glowworm, you gotta stop talking shit about Halo, okay? It's a it's a gamer faux pas to talk shit about Halo. It's a industry defining game. I'm telling you, okay? Okay? Oh my God, that's so funny. This nigga's a fool. I love. It. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, Glowworm, you got you got roasted by Max Fury, bro. He says this nigga's a fool. <laughs> That's so stupid. Leon Lush says, the fat oversized controllers that shipped with the original Xbox are the best console controller to date, and they were only replaced by smaller controllers because 98% of gamers are p***ies with tiny hands. That was like, I, 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 wish I, I wish you guys caught my initial reaction to that tweet because I actually laughed 
out loud when I when I read that. But I'm reading it now for like the fourth or fifth time, so I'm not gonna be like, ha 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 ha, yo. I mean, it's, it was funny the first time, Leon. Your jokes really don't last the the third the third run around. I, I feel I'm sorry. I do apologize, Leon. It was a great controller. It was wonderful, but unfortunately, you're wrong because the new Xbox controller is way better than that f***ing giant piece of. Shit. So uh, we got Curtain Call over here who says Dreamcast controllers were better and he says hashtag fight me right after that. Look, uh, uh, Kurt, bro, uh, I imagine your name's Kurt. Dude, uh, uh, the Dreamcast had one analog stick from what I remember. One analog stick. All right, are you f***ing joking? Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike here, he says, not all of us have the hand size and mental capacity of Lenny from Of Mice and Men, so I have to disagree. Oh boy. <laughs> he got you, bro. He got you. Then we got, uh, then we got Pimp Master Broda here with The Last of Us is a worse version of a Resident Evil 4 designed for self-congratulatory game journalists and brainless. What are you talking about? Did you even play Resident Evil 4, you big dum-dum? I'm gonna watch your video. Let's see what's going on here. I don't want to hear what you even have to say, okay? Conversation over. S my D, bro. S my D. <laughs> so, just whatever, dude. Whatever. <laughs> so stupid. We got Colton Music. He says this ain't it, and he's right. Hundred percent right. Colton Music, you're the you're the real MVP over here. Not this Yoda rat. It's you, man. This ain't it. Definitely. Alana Pierce says Xbox is currently doing some really good pro-consumer stuff that could have long-term positive effects on the industry, and we should be publicly standing up for it. Stuff like Game Pass, Play Anywhere, Crossplay, etc. Yeah, I'm all for games as a service, 100%, okay? That's something that I don't really think that's an unpopular opinion to have. I'm gonna have to look into it. Let me look into it. I wanna see if that's an unpopular opinion, but I'm for games as a service, 100%. So it turns out, Alana, that a lot of people agree with this opinion. We got Samuel Mills over here. He says, agreed. Microsoft undoubtedly knows they're not going to win this generation. They're building goodwill and planning for the next generation. I think some dismiss them too quickly and will be surprised at what the next gen looks like. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's very possible. You have no idea what's going to happen, honestly. But, uh, but look, Microsoft is really good. Uh, for their first two uh, runs, uh, Xbox and Xbox 360, both I felt had great user experiences. Xbox One really kind of let me down, but they've uh, they've come back around. And I really, like I said earlier in this video, I really do appreciate how they're trying to pretty much merge the console and PC market by you know providing providing Xbox One exclusives on my on the Microsoft Store. It's very cool. Cole Phelps, uh, I don't know who this guy is. You know he's got 855 likes on it. Uh, online co-op is uh, better than online PvP. Who, who are you, Cole Phelps? I'm glad that you have that opinion, Cole. Uh, and uh, I'm glad that online co-op has brought you a great deal of joy, but online PvP is where it's at, man. When you played WoW for the first time, you didn't go on a PvE server. You went on a PvE server if you were a baby. If you were scared of other players, you're like, oh, I don't want to get attacked while I, I fight this piggy. That's where you went. If you, were, if you were that kind of person, you went to a PvE server. You know, hardcore people, they went, they went, on, they went on PvP. They were like, I don't give a f I'll fight. Whatever I need to fight at the same time as I fight you, another human being in the other world. It doesn't matter, you're a bitch. I got a job to do. You know, that's where people went. With people with that attitude, they went to online PvP and I think uh, winners go to that, that kind of online experience. Free Shabocado says, multiplayer is killing the industry of games I love. What do you, no, no it's not. It's not, stop that, stop it. What is this? It's not killing your, your industry, man. No, they're still gonna make single player games, bro. It's still gonna make people- What are you talking about? We got JP Purge saying, this is 100% true. Actually, it is 100% wrong, you big dumb dumb. Dark Souls is overrated shit that is artificially made hard by poor game design and gameplay. You're just bad at the game, dude. That's all I gotta say. Get good at the game. It's not- There's no bad game design in Dark Souls. It's- It's all intentional. It's very- It's very legit. It's all there on purpose. You're just bad at the game. It's okay. I I still love you. I appreciate you sending me this opinion. I do. Seriously. No hate to you. But you're bad at the game. And that's why you don't like it. Sonic the Hedgehog, he says, I thought that too until I realized I was stupid as hell and now it's my favorite series. You win by simply just looking, but it proves so difficult at first. 
you gotta give it a shot. You have to give Dark Souls an honest shot and you have to get past that initial sense of frustration that everybody has, okay? I'm serious. I spent four hours, four hours at the tutorial boss. I was like, did I buy this game for no reason? Did I make a mistake? I, I, I spent a hundred dollars on this game. What am I doing? Am I crazy? No, it's it's uh, it's really it's really not that bad. It really isn't that bad. Just just get good. Look, guys, I appreciate you watching this. Thank you so much for dropping by. If you appreciated this, feel free to go ahead and leave a like, hit the sub button, and ding that bell icon so you stay notified. Anytime I put up a video, you guys will see it. And if you want to see more of me throughout the week, you can always check me out on twitch.tv slash MrBuntyKing. I've been trying to stream regularly, so just go ahead and drop a follow there, and then you'll be able, you'll be able to find me easy. Until next time, I love you. Goodbye.